Juan Hel Luis, a man from Peru, often records his late night walks past the local graveyard due to the eerie atmosphere. But one night as he walks by, he hears a woman's voice calling his name from within the graveyard. Man, why do you go walking around the cemetery, dude? Fuck. At 3 a.m. At 3 o'clock in the morning. As he hurries away in fear, the voice grows more insistent, calling his name repeatedly, as if growing impatient. Luis managed to escape unharmed, but he's left with a shilling question. Just who or what was calling his name? Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. You gotta be fucking kidding me. you for that <laughs> that actually jump scared me damn that jump scared the hell out of me okay, yeah, girl invited her friend to spend the night with her because things had been falling down in her new apartment she didn't believe her at first until the night she spent with her New apartment? You better get your ass out of there. Talking about moving into a new apartment and like that. It's okay. She said it's okay and just ignore it? Where the fuck do you live? said okay just leave it like that's some normal type shit to happen get the fuck out go no 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 you guys get out I don't know what her friend was thinking, but it seems like she goes through that quite a lot. A man was working in the outskirts of town when he begins to hear multiple animal noises coming from somewhere nearby. As the man decides to check out the unnerving sounds, he finds a trap door in the middle of nowhere. But as he opens it, he makes a haunting discovery. A trap door in the middle of nowhere. The reflection of an animal's eye can be seen staring at the man. As he opened the trap door, the sounds grew louder. We're not going down there. The eyes of the beast's eye. Some believe this is a cryptid, where others in the comments believe this is some sort of predator based on the man's line of work being a farm animal caretaker. Who put it down there though? Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is it? Oh, that's a creepy basement. You gotta go. Oh, come on, man. Pick up your phone. Shit. 
scared. I thought something was gonna jump out at me. You little bitch, you almost scared me. He did make me startle a little bit. I was startled. What are they talking about? Whoa, my God. Why? Why was that sound necessary? I missed it. I must have missed what was on her phone. That noise was the thing that jump scared me. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Fuck that. Driving down a lonely dark road. See some random ass person. Just walking. No, no. You gotta watch this. Look how big this gets. The go. sun got been gone for four days. I've been looking for you. Look at that. See the black sun behind it? So I can see that dark ring behind the sun. That's the black sun. What is going on? Look, here goes another one right there. You see that? You can see the other one right here. Look, look at that. What the hell? Look, look at that. Look at that. Look how big that one is. And here goes the other one. What is going on here, boy? Look at that transformation, y'all. Wow. Wow, now look how big it's gotten. You see that? <laughs> oh shit, look. You got one on this side, and then the other one on this side. You see how they're two different colors? Now they're becoming one big color. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Whoa. What the fuck is this guy talking about? I see that. Look at how that thing is morphing. Look at how the look how the clouds is morphing around it. Like it's literally trying to hide it. They're literally trying to swallow it up, man. How are you telling you this is what the war this is what the war in heaven is all about? It's a war on the sun. Look at this. Look how big that thing has gotten, y'all. Look at that. What the hell? Bro, somebody down in the comments tell me, have you ever seen something like this in the sky? And there's a lot of little birds just flying around. I think this is just edited footage to make it look that way. Jesus. Now, now look at this. Look at this. Look, look at that. What? Look at this. Wow. Oh my goodness, boy. Y'all saw that. Y'all seen it. Now see it. Now they're trying to look. Now they're trying to take it back in. Trying to drown it out. Wow, y'all see that. Videos like that drive me crazy. Too much conspiracy with those with that type of shit. April 2017, when a photo linked to the name Lucia Joaquin started circulating on social media. The original tale was shared by Enzo Cruz, recounting his eerie experience with her. One night, I woke up and went to the bathroom. Afterward, I returned to my room, hoping to fall back asleep. Minutes passed, but sleep still eluded me, so I decided to browse Facebook to pass the time. While scrolling, a message popped up from a woman named Lucia Joaquin. We started chatting, and she asked why I was still awake. Oh, I no. I that I was just trying to put myself to sleep by going online. Her response was unsettling. Maybe you're awake because someone woke you up? <laughs> Feeling a bit uneasy, I checked her profile. Oddly, it was almost empty, with a dark profile picture. Despite the strange vibes, we continued messaging. At one point, Lucia suggested we take a picture together since we were now Facebook friends. Moments later, my other phone, lying nearby, vibrated, and the camera flashed. Other phone? When I checked my messages, there was nothing. 
We kept talking, and she asked me to guess her age. I replied that it was hard to tell from her dark profile picture. She said she'd upload a new photo. When I refreshed her profile, my blood ran cold. The new picture was of her, smiling and lying right beside me Oh, that's me a creepy bed. face. That's a creepy face. Oh my gosh. What is this kid doing? Fuck that. I don't care if it's a kid. That shit is creepy. Hey, step on the gas. Step on the gas, man. Get the fuck out of here. Is he holding a pan? These are some of the weirdest videos ever. What was that? Is he holding a gun? Sounds like he has like a police radio. Walkie talkie on him. Might be a cop investigating. It's a cop. <laughs> Is that him breathing like that? Hey, you better pop off. You better pop off if something jumps up at you. Oh my god! This can't be real. You know, it was really blurry, but you could still see the dark figure like jump out at him. Hope that wasn't real. On the night of September 26th of 2022, a family is enjoying their evening inside their home when out of nowhere, they find themselves immersed in a very peculiar incident. At approximately 9 p.m., Renee Salcido and her family had stopped what they were doing after being alerted by a noise coming from the front door. They weren't expecting any visitors, so naturally, they were startled. But nevertheless, they Bro, look at all the crosses on the wall. On, and rightfully so. A bunch of crosses on their wall. The noise they heard was actually from a set of bells that were dangling on their doorknob. The fact that they went off meant that someone had grabbed the handle. Freaked out, Renee shows the exact moment they're heard on camera. I don't know what it is, but like wind chimes and bells like that. Creepy noises. Especially wind chimes. I don't know what it is, but. I heard the bell. Did you move the bells at all over? Huh? Did you move the bells? No. Uh, I heard the bells ring. That was a loud bang. It's the footage from outside that's left Renee and her family completely shook. The bells can be heard rattling against the door, but strangely, no one is seen grabbing the handle where the bells are placed. It's audible enough to know that something shook the bells, but the question is, what exactly shook them? Or better said, what had gripped the doorknob? Only after realizing why the bells went off does this video get creepier. As the family believes, something had tried to get inside. And it seems that whatever it was really wanted to get in. But the bells, according to viewers, had successfully done their job. There's a reason why some people hang bells on their doorknob. And it's not because they add style, but rather help in warding off negative energy. They're known as witch bells. And Renee's family is glad really? to have bought them. 
but of course, whether I've or not never heard of that before. What occurred is up to you to I decide. might meet some of those. So then, had something come by to visit the family, or could something else explain what occurred? Might need to get some bells for myself. The one clip in the beginning where that lady had just moved into her new apartment and invited her friend over because stuff were falling down. The way her friend was so calm in saying, hey, it's, it just happens. Just let it go. Like, what? What are you talking about? You got shit getting thrown, the dishes. The whole dish rack came off of the counter. That baby stroller got pushed into the kitchen. Like, you cannot be that calm when shit like that is going down in your house. I would be concerned for my friend if that's how my friend's reaction was towards anything like that. But if you guys did enjoy my reactions, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new here, don't forget to sub for more future content. And I hope to catch you on the next one.